Hi everybody, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you a quick um, smile line. It is Christmassy inspired, I suppose. I'm using a really glittery red acrylic from CJP. It's called Dorothy's Slippers. It's already pre-mixed with clear acrylic, so you don't need to do that yourself. So I'm also using Cherry Blossom from CJP. It's one of their core cover powders it is a strength powder so you don't need to cap um so i'm gonna really try and not file this smile line so i'm gonna try and do all the work with my brush so you can see i've added a bead i'm doing quite a deep smile line and i'm just patting and pressing and pulling that product to where i want it to get that really nice shape and then i'll go in with a second bead just now place that just at the cuticle area blend side to side and then just pull that down i'm not too worried at the moment about an apex um if i was working on a client i would probably cap the whole thing in crystal glass um but as you can see i'm just adding a little bead there of the cherry blossom just for coverage um, so it's a nice solid colour and then I'm coming in with the CJP Dorothy slipper so you can see it's a really beautiful red glittery acrylic it's lovely and I'm pushing that product right into the wings and I'm really trying to keep the smile line crisp so I'm not filing it so you can see I'm just arguing with a piece of glitter there and then I'm adding a little bit more product on just because I did dig my brush um, into that acrylic and it wasn't quite set. So I've just hidden that um, mark in the acrylic. The most important thing when you're doing smile lines is to make sure that you've got a nice wall to butt the next colour or glitter up to when you do your smile line. If you wanted to, you could put a wash of red acrylic underneath, but this colour, um, this glitter's got lots of chunky bits and lots of fine bits, so it does cover really well actually, and you don't need a lot. So I'm just patting and pressing that into place, as you can see, and I'm just showing you there um, that the red is much thinner than the wall of the cherry blossom. So now I'm capping in crystal glass to protect that glitter from when we fail. This video is in double time, so this isn't me working at this speed. I don't work at this speed. Um, so now I'm just washing that acrylic um, over there so it's fully capped. You know that all your glitter's capped once your um, glitter goes matte and then once you've filed you're then going to top coat i'm using cjp tap free top coat and i cure this in an led lamp it's so so shiny it's really nice and here is the finished video as you can see there was a couple of little pieces of glitter that um jumped up onto that smile line so i wouldn't declare this a perfect smile line or a perfect result but i thought i'd show it to you anyway as working with glitter at the tip is a bit more difficult than a block colour. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!